We do continue to follow the death of O.J. Simpson, and many people remember this video. It captured the country on live TV, raking in some 95 million viewers when it happened nearly 30 years ago, watching the then beloved football star turned actor evade police officers in the back of that white Ford Bronco. So joining me now is Zoe Tour, who was helicopter pilot during that chase. Uh, Zoe, thank you so much for giving me some of your time. I want to talk about the chase, but first of all, I have to ask, what was your reaction to learning of O.J. Simpson's death? I was, like many people, caught off guard. I knew that he was ailing. I knew that he was ill, but I didn't, uh, I didn't know how serious it was. And uh, it came as a surprise and maybe a bit of a relief. Well, you played such a pivotal role on that day, so long back, decades now at this point. But take us back to that day. How did it start? When did you get the call? Well, I was downtown and waiting for O.J. Simpson to turn himself in. I'd flown the helicopter to a heliport right near Parker Center, LAPD headquarters, where O.J. was going to turn himself in. And I was standing outside with the other members of the media when they announced that O.J. Simpson was a fugitive. He was in the wind, and uh, they were actively searching for him. So literally every police department, every federal agency, everybody in the country was now looking for O.J. Simpson, including you know hundreds and hundreds of reporters. So I turned to my crew and, and said, let's get out of here. We're going to go find him. So we went back to the helicopter and uh, started up the, the jet engine. And uh, we had a discussion. Where would O.J. Simpson go? And I thought he would go to the gravesite of Nicole Simpson Brown. I thought he would go there. And, uh, well, I was flying, so that's where we went. And it's, you know, about an hour and a half drive time by car, but by helicopter, it was about 20 minutes. I got down there and flew over the cemetery. Uh, there was an undercover police unit waiting and, uh, you know, watching, but, you know, they had the same idea that I had. And then I got, um, I got uh, called by our assignment desk, Mary Helen Campos at CBS, who told me that, um, the FBI was monitoring uh, some of the transmissions. So I tuned into the FBI and I was able to hear them talking about triangulating the signal to the El Toro Y, which is the convergence of two freeways. I looked below through the chin bubble of the helicopter and there was a white Bronco. And within a matter of minutes, it was one police unit after another until there was I can't, I couldn't even count how many. And we knew we had our man. And with the flip of the switch, we had over, you know, 100 million uh, viewers on live television. And I can't even begin to tell you how many watched it, you know, later on. So it was a very surreal event. So you were in local news, obviously, Zoe, knowing that you had 100 million viewers. The pressure was on. What do you remember most about that day? Well, I mean, I mean, it was it was a, a shock. I mean, we had heard from the LAPD that they thought O.J. Simpson did it. We broke the story originally. We had a, a police contact that was there at the scene who called us before dawn and said that Nicole Simpson Brown is dead. They didn't know who the uh, the male victim was. And he told me that O.J. Simpson was gone. He was somewhere back east and the LAPD wanted him uh, for the murder. So, uh, you know, and then this, you know, this pursuit and this was a guy that played golf with presidents. This was a celebrity. This guy was beamed into our homes every day with Hertz commercials. So you felt like you knew him. He lived to two uh, canyons over. I lived in Pacific Palisades. And, you know, I knew OJ, I mean, I would wave and say hi. And I knew his reputation with, with abuse. But, um, I mean, this was, this was shocking. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.